Hey everybody, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, welcome to an impromptu <laughs> um, unboxing. I was uh, I was planning on scheduling these, but I I've had a busy week. It's just a it's been a little bit crazy, and um, I forgot to post that I was going to do it. So <laughs> now I'm doing it without any posting. Um, I do actually have a plan though for how paper pumpkins are going to roll out each month. Um, I love paper pumpkin. It's a subscription kit and it's, you don't know what's in it. They've started doing teasers before we never had any idea what at all what was in it. Um, and it just, I just get so excited every month still. Even when I've seen the, the teasers, I still get excited um, because, I, because I've not actually seen it. So yeah, I, well, what did I say the other day? The uh, Tracy, your nerve is showing. Yep, totally. Okay, so here it is. I'm gonna give you, um, because I didn't actually have it now, so I was going live. Um, I'll give everybody a couple minutes to, before I actually unbox. I'll tease you for a little as it were. Um, but I will tell you that Paper Pumpkin um, is a subscription service. So you have till the 10th of each month to subscribe for the coming kit. They cut it off on the 10th, you get billed on the 12th, kit, kits usually ship right afterwards. They come out by FedEx, so you usually get them within a couple of days. My kit was, was supposed to be here on Tuesday, but because of the very unfortunate situation in BC, things are a little kerfuffled right now, but I got it today. Um, and I wasn't actually expecting it. I thought, oh, well, I'll just have to try to, you know, grow as a human being and learn to have some patience. But my son was up shoveling the sidewalk and came back in and said, hey, there's a box for you. And instantly I knew what it was and I got all excited. So, um, so yeah, the, the delays are not too much, but usually you'll get it within, like I usually, if it, if it ships on a Monday or Tuesday, I usually have it by the Friday. It comes very quickly with FedEx. Um, it is normally wrapped in plastic, like shrink wrapped, which they started doing, I don't know, a year, year and a bit ago, um, because some of the boxes were getting quite damaged and quite beaten up. And there's a big shipping label that comes on it. And they've also started doing a lot more of these like collector boxes. Uh, I personally do not collect the boxes, but there's lots you can do with them. And they're very good. I mean, you could repurpose them. Um, you can flip them inside out, or you could just like cover some of them. In this case, all you need to do is put a little something over the logo if you want. And it's a very cute gift wrap box, right? Um, the one from September turned into a, a wagon. That was cool. So part of it, that shrink crank is to protect it. So I did take that off. I did not look in the box, but I did take the shrink wrap off because it was very wet from sitting in the snow on the step. It's like just that little, there's just enough snow and the sun shining on it to make the outside of the box very wet. But the inside is all nice and beautiful and pristine. So I thought, you know what? I'm so excited all the time. I'm gonna share that with you. Um, <clears throat> the other fun fact, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, the other fun fact about Paper Pumpkin is um, sometimes they have refills and sometimes they have extra full kits. So the first Monday after the 21st, which you don't have to remember because I'll remember for you. So this coming Monday, if there's going to be any refills then or any extra kits, then that's when they'll get posted. And because they don't tell you ahead of time what it is, in this case, we knew they were treat containers. And I've actually forgotten the number of how many. And I knew there was three different designs. And I knew they were good size. Like from the pictures, it seemed like, like they were like this size on the box, right? So it seemed like they were a pretty good size treat container. But you don't actually know, and you only see part of one design or part of, so you don't really know what it is. Well, here, I'll give you a hint. This is next month, right? So for the for December, which means you have till December 10th at like 20, you know, 10, 10 midnight to subscribe to this kit. So we know it's nine cards. We know there's puns, lots of puns. I love puns. Oh my goodness, I love puns. Um, and we know that the stamp set has little customizable things. So there's three cards. Sorry, three each of three card designs. Hi, Mary. So I'm assuming that one of them is meant to go with the cherries, one with the bananas, and there's one other character that you don't see. And then I did see one picture, or maybe it was a little clip in the video, where there's one with a big mustache. So the, the promo information we got was it's nine cards, um, three each of three designs. It's got some punny like sentiments in the stamp set, and then little interchangeable dies or stamps to customize. So that's what we knew. 
So we don't, and I mean, you kind of get a feel for it by the background and stuff, but so you get just enough of a teaser, but not enough. So like I said, I get very excited when they get here so I can see what's in them. So anyways, if you are interested, see, and I did, I'm doing it again. I didn't purposely mean to make you wait that extra step, but now that I have my paper out, I might as well tell you. So if you are interested in this, if I did it right, there's a link to subscribe in the comments on this Facebook Live. So you have to subscribe to the tent. A kit is $31.50. That's, I don't know, it's like $25 for the kit, five bucks for the shipping. That's not the right math. I think it's 23 and seven. Uh, and then a buck 50, I think is the GST. So that's in Alberta. So it's $31.50. So you can go subscribe. And when you do, you can you can set up, you, you let's set up the whole subscription. You can go back each month, as long as you go back before the 10th and you can choose to either let the subscription run, in which case you don't have to do anything, and it'll just automatically bill you and send you another kit. You can suspend a month. Well, you can suspend several months, but you have to do them each month, like one at a time. So you could suspend as long as you go in before the 10th, and then they'll just skip a kit, and they'll ship you the next one, unless you go back in. Or you can cancel. So it's really easy to run the, the subscription part of it. Um, if you're not sure you want to subscribe, or you just, you can always just ask me, and I can get extra kits too. I'm thinking this might make a good kids class. So, or a good kids present. So if you're looking for something to do, these kits have everything in them. You'll see when I open the one, um, everything you need to put the kits together, except for a pair of scissors. So if you wanna get stocking stuffers or just presents, or you wanna like sign up and get a subscription for somebody else you know, whether it's for a month, three months, the whole year, whatever. Um, this might be a great one to introduce kids, grandkids, nieces, nephews, sons, daughters, whoever you want into doing this. Um, I think it's going to look like lots of fun. And like I said, I love puns. Okay, here's this month's kit though, first. So like I said, all we knew was treat boxes. So very excited about it. Um, if you are interested in this kit, because now that you're going to see it, you're going to see how awesome it is. They're always awesome. I don't even know what this one looks like. I just know it's going to be awesome. Um, let me know and I will keep an eye out. Once, once the What's the data? I don't want to distract you from this important thing I'm telling you. Once the 10th has passed, so if you see this kit and you think, oh my God, I love it, and you subscribe, you're subscribing for the next month's kit. You can't subscribe after the fact for a kit you've already seen. So the only way to get this kit is if there's refills or full kits, which I will know on Monday. I'm going to try to post a reminder on Sunday night, but between now and then, if you, when I, hi, Mara. When I show you all the details of this kit, if you decide you love it so much, you have to have it, let me know. I will put you on the list. And as soon as the, the, the Monday has come, as soon as the website's updated, basically, I will look and see if there's refills or if there's uh, full kits. So a full kit is $31.50. A refill is generally $13 plus shipping and tax. So depending if you do it, order it on your own or group order, it's whatever. Um, you could, or I'm gonna do another, video this weekend about gift giving and and getting subscriptions for people and stuff but you can get the subscriptions on top of um i still want to look at this app set right now and i'm trying to stay focused um you can order subscriptions for other people and if you order a bunch you can also order other supplies at the same time so you could order a subscription order some scissors like we can make the whole thing work okay so every paper pumpkin kit comes with the best parts of the step set comes with an ink spot in this case flirty flamingo um, another fun fact, because I'm just full of fun facts this evening. Um, in, a, in a calendar year, the paper pumpkin kits do not repeat colors. Every now and again, there'll be two stamp spots. Generally, there's just one. So in a 12 month period, you will get 12 different colors. Ooh, they all come with a stamp or a stamp set. Oh yeah, you can read that. Oh, look at that. Oh, I just, see, I love the font and look at how nice and big these are. Oh, hello, Nicole. These are awesome. So this is meant to be a present. I'm taking it and the bow some snowflakes just in case i can't tell it looks pretty good on mine but i can't tell if it's too shiny a to and from this one says oh what fun happy holidays and merry christmas but these are nice big tags and i love this little loopy handwriting font now when you order a subscription the very first time you order one uh, i'm going to try to do two things at once it's not going to work is it nope <laughs> here i'll put that back in screen when you first order your subscription nope, i give up um you will get the first box you get will actually come with a block in it. So you have something to, um, to stick these to. If you order refills or whatever afterwards, I can order you blocks or if you already have blocks, you're, good, you're golden. But your very first kit, you will get a, a D size block and it will be big enough that any stamp sets that come in any kits will fit that block. 
Uh, Nicole says she can't wait to make cards. Um, I said, everybody gets their paper pumpkins at different times. So if you are if you are like me and you look at the websites to and, and Facebook to see what everybody's posting about stuff, then um, you'll see that some people have already got their kits, opened them up and made alternative projects. Uh, when we put this kit together, because um, today I'm just going to show you what's in it. And then I'm, I'm hoping next week, but I do have to double check because all of a sudden Hoffman's gotten very busy. But um, sorry about the crinkling. Move that out of my way. So when when you put the kit together, um, you can put it together however you want. Like it comes with very good instructions. <laughs> Try not to cut anything. It comes with very good instructions. They're colored. They're you know, but you can do whatever you want. And lots of people want just cards. So there's all sorts of things you can find on the internet. <sighs> Sorry, will I fight with the plastic? To um to, to make a tree holder into a card. Um, my video what a month ago. I took the last paper pumpkin kit and made, took the cards and envelopes and made them into tree holders. So you can do whatever you want. And there will be all kinds of, of uh, alternatives that come up. So look at this stack of goodies. So like I said, comes with instructions. So now, oh, see, I'm liking that. Oh, awesome. Okay, so, <laughs> see, I get too excited, I can't even focus. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. Um, so, and I think actually ahead of time, we knew it was trees, snowman, and presents. But again, the only picture we had seen was the snowman. So now we know that these are the three like boxes and very good pieces. I'm trying not to shake here as I do this. Um, I'm trying not to shake. So, <laughs> um, so the very detailed instruction that tells you what pieces to put in what order, big color photos. So that's awesome. Uh, if you're looking on the back, it will tell you coordinating colors and what's supposed to be in here. So we now know nine treat boxes because I had forgotten that. Okay, so those are the treat boxes. This is just a piece of cardboard, so let's move that out of the way for now. Um, they all come with bags. So these are food safe bags to put your treats in in the boxes. Uh, and they're all the same pattern. And oh, I don't know what the best background for that is, but they're little snowflakes. They're adorable. This is so versatile. They, 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 do, they did do an amazing job on the kit. One of these days I'll learn to read comments without actually saying them out loud, or maybe that's a good thing. Um, yeah, the, the, um, when Paper Pumpkin first started, some of the kits, it was still exciting and everything, but some of the kits were like, hmm. um, and they have so upped their game in the last couple of years. And they, they're just amazing. And there's so much stuff in them. So to put these boxes together, okay, I'll, I'll confess. You see, they, they put so much work into all of these beautiful instructions with all of the pictures. I don't think I have ever once read the paper bumper, pumpkin instructions. I just open the kit and start putting stuff together. Um, but I can usually figure it out. It's like Ikea. I can figure it out without the instructions. I've done it enough. So we have some tear and tape. So this will be what holds. This is really good, strong tape. So I'm going to assume that's going to hold the boxes together. We have some dimensionals. We have adorable little gold paper clips, which I can tell by the picture is how they are affixing, look at me and my big fancy words, the uh, the little tags on the presents. Oops, you can see right there, that's, we've got them on there. So you don't have to worry about tying pesky bows if you don't want to, you've got nice little paper clips. But there is two things of twine, one's red and white, one's green and white to go with, to go with them. So here's the back of the boxes. Um, see, like I said, who needs instructions when you can just wing it? So I can, I can just, I can just assume that I'm going to well, see because anywhere there's a tab like this, especially if it's got the little like um, little notches out of it, which makes it fold smoother, you can tell that it's going to go together. So this is how the box is going to go together. <laughs> um, with and you're going to put tear and tape on these tabs. So this is the back of the box. And they appear to be. No, oh, maybe they're not the same size. Oh my goodness, look at the size of these things. These ones are huge. Okay, so this is my hand and this is the tag. So it is the same size as my big meat hooks. So this is the tree. And see, this one appears to have a little bit of a, I'm so excited about this kit, can you tell? Um, it has a bit of a slope to it that matches it. So the tree is gonna go, I picked up two of them. It's gonna go like this. What? And you know what? I can tell that there's actually six of each of these, not just three, which means you're gonna put one on each. You're gonna put one on either side. So this is 
This is a big treat holder, or I guess it could be used for presents. Look at the size of this thing, right? Like that, which it'll hold better when you actually glue it. And then if you're putting, you know, food that you want, don't want to just throw in an open cardboard box, you fill the treat holder or the treat bag and put it in there. Look how awesome that is. Oh, I'm so excited to make these. Okay, so there's huge trees. Oh, and um, there's almost everything is double sided these days. So there's a cool one too. So if you've decided you're not making those or for some reason you need a red treat, there you go. Um, oh my goodness, look at the size. These presents are huge. Um, I did see one card already. Oh, hello, Bernice. Bernice, I was going to say, Bernice is in Saskatchewan and it is in BC or is it the other way around? Well, I hope you're both doing fine regardless of which one's in which province. Um, but yeah, definitely thinking about everybody in BC right now. So this is the, the treat holder. Oh, look, there's even little marks. I didn't notice that on the other ones. I bet you they're there if I'd slow down. Yep, there's even little marks here so it tells you where to line up the box. Um, I have seen cards. Oh, hi, Bernice. Bernice is in BC. Thoughts are with everybody in BC. Uh, and they have taken this card and they did a couple little like fine little cuts in a few of these presents and they made them so they flapped up and they put little greetings behind them on cards. Like how cool is that? Oh, and then the last one, Snowman. I love Snowman. Look at these big guys. Oops, <laughs> totally not in screen. <laughs> um, yeah, these are, oh, they're so big. And then, oh, this is a pretty cool, cool party. And yeah, see that? Helps you line up the treat holder on the back. So that makes the boxes. And we have these from before. These appear to be all the same shape. Yes. So there's no, you don't have to worry about which one goes with which. So this little shape here then is what's the line on the back. And then there's four. They, this is where they tend to be uh, really extra nice to you. Super, superstore shelves are empty, but trucks are on the way. I'm, I'm very, well, it's unfortunate that the stores are in the state there. And BC's had such a rough go with things. Um, the last thing the province needed and any of the businesses needed was more of this. But um, I'm super impressed at how quickly people are, are mobilizing and rerouting and doing things to help. So um, yes, let's hope the trucks get there quick. Um, train of thought, put the window. I probably shouldn't read comments when I do things. Oh, Stampin' Up! likes to give you extra pieces. Um, there's probably more string than it, set, it tells you. Here's a, here's a little tip for you. When you get the string on the uh, inside of the instructions somewhere, there's, oh, there it is. There's a marking guide. So if it says to cut eight inches of string, just run it along the side of the thing, you get eight inches of string. Uh, super handy. Like I said, all you need is scissors. Everything else is in the kit. So chances are there's a little bit extra, but they do tend to also give you some extra labels, which is nice. So the snowman, there's three snowman boxes. There's four round labels, which I actually find it easier to stamp them once they're out of, out of the thing anyway. So they pop out that easily. This is in the picture. This is the one that fits the Oh What Fun stamp. Um, and goes on the snowman, but it said you can do them however you want. And then to put on the bags, there's actually these, um, I call them warehouse tags, but that if you didn't work in the same warehouses, me for a while there, then you wouldn't understand them. <laughs> these tags, there's enough of these to go on each one of the bags. So you can tie the bag closed with string and put a tag on it with the two from. And then there's more labels to go on the trees and on the presents of this shape. You got a bunch of those. You got two sheets of this. So you have some extra labels, some string. Oh, I cannot wait. These things are awesome. So at any moment now, my nephew is going to walk through the door. So I'm going to try to wrap this up before he bursts in and makes a whole bunch of noise. Look at all the stuff you get in here. And it's designed to be simple for you um, and go together in less than an hour. So a nice little creative escape, nine gift slash treat uh, boxes that you can give away. Do the tags have holes in the top for the string to go through? Yes, they do. Pretty sure I saw that as I was going by. Uh, this, the round ones don't, but the ones that go on the bags have, by my desk, this is such a mess, they just split the pieces up. The ones that go on the on the bags um, have little holes already put in them for the string. So there you go.
So if you if you have seen this now and your FOMO has kicked in and you're thinking, oh my goodness, because this time, sometimes I order extra kits. This month I only ordered the one. And I myself, because I wasn't sure what it looks like and I, you know, I have lots of treat holders, and, but I am so liking this, that I want some more. So I mentioned at the beginning, but given how excited I am and how I don't prep anything, who knows if it made any sense. If you order the full kit, you get all of the consumables, plus the stamp set, plus the ink spot, $31.50. If the only, and, and it's, sometimes you don't have a choice. Like when you, when you subscribe, you get the full kit. On the 21st, if there is extras, it might be the full kit. It might only be refills. So, and you, and you have no say, like just because you want a full kit doesn't mean you'll get one. A lot of times it is just refills. So if all that's available is the refills, then all you get is the consumables. You don't get the stamp set, you don't get the ink spot. So like for me, that's fine, right? I just want to make more of the same. I've already got the ink spot and the stamp set. I just need more of the consumables. So if you are interested in one and or the other, let me know. Uh, nine treat holders, they are adorable. They are huge. They will fit lots of stuff, everything you need in there. And uh, I will let you know as soon as I can on Monday, whether or not they have them. <laughs> Um, if you want to make sure you don't miss out, because they are fun. Every, I, I don't think I've been disappointed in a paper pumpkin ever. There's always something to do with it, some, if, even if you don't make it the way it's intended. Um, the designers at Stampin' Up are good. I've always, I'm always impressed with them. Um, if you don't want this one, but you want to have some pun in December, let me know about this kit. Um, like I said, with any luck, the link to subscribe is in the or in the text on the Facebook posts. If not, you can always get a hold of me directly and I will help you through it. Uh, thanks everybody for popping in at the last minute. Thanks ladies. Uh, save on foods is collecting money for the Red Cross for BC. Oh, perfect. Save on foods. Next time you're out getting your groceries, help out the people in BC. All right, so thoughts are with, uh, with you, Bernice, and everybody else in BC. Thank you guys all for joining me. This was lots of fun. I'm going to try to do Paper Pumpkin more regularly. And uh, next time, We'll be putting it together and I'll be showing you some alternatives. Oh, hi, Jen. Bye. Sorry, next time I'll give you some warning. And you know what? I can see my nephew's lights coming up the driveway right now. So I'm going to go before he yells in the, in the, uh, into the recording. Thanks, everyone. Have a great night. Take care.